Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Cullen Jones, 65th Commander of the National District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And we're back out here at our Kentucky Lock Edition project where we're about to emplace a 1.3 million pound concrete coffer dam shell in support of our Lock Edition project. You know, today I'm lucky to be joined by our technical lead, your senior design engineer, Barney Schultz, who's out here today to ensure that it gets in place properly. So Barney, moving 1.3 million pounds of concrete is an amazing endeavor. Can you yeah. talk to us about some of the engineering solutions that the team has gone through and devised to make this happen and a possibility? I'd be glad to. So, uh, first of all, Colonel, the we partnered greatly with our contractor to develop this plan uh, for placing the shell and constructing the shell. Um, we have a specially constructed gantry barge. This gantry barge floats on two uh, barges of its own and it's capable of lifting 1.8 million pounds. So some of our shells are actually more than the, the weight of this shell, which is 1.3 million. So we have extra capacity for future shell placements. We'll have a total of 10 shells uh, in all um, as we progress further with this cofferdam construction. Um, if you notice on top, we have post tension or a uh, uh, strand jacks uh, partnering with a company called Fresene out of Switzerland. They, they will, those strand jacks will be used to, to raise the shell, uh, to raise the shell off of its casting barge. Um, we also have post tension rods that, that transfer the load from the shell to the lifting frame. Those, those rods are embedded in the structure um, to transfer load to the structure. Absolutely amazing. So once we get that in place, you know, you'll be able to fight the material properties, keep it in compression so that it's safe to move in. Once we get it into the location, how are we going to ensure that it's set in the right place at the right time so that we can move forward with the, the next 10 shells? Gotcha. So once the barge or once the shell has been lifted off the casting barge, we'll move the casting barge out of the way. Our tugboats will then position this gantry crane at our bullnose down here at the end of the existing lock. We'll get just, we'll get very close to the bullnose, but we won't touch it at that point. At that point, we'll use a system of eight tuggers and tow lines to horizontally position the, the shell in the proper location. We have a surveyor up on the lower guide wall on the river side. He will, be, he will be constantly surveying, communicating with the contractor. He'll be shooting on prisms on top of the shell. He'll also be shooting the face of the shell to make sure this, this navigation side face of the shell is in its proper location. Absolutely amazing. So as we're moving forward, this is going to be the first of 10 that are eventually going to be in place along the lock addition. As we go through and in place the concrete inside of them, these will be eventually become an integral portion of the lock addition throughout. So Barney, from your perspective, what have been some of the most amazing solutions that you've seen presented during this operation? Well, what I like a lot about this operation is the unique aspects of this floating kind of reusable gantry crane. It's always ready for the next lift. Um, we can, once this lift is over, we can move it out of the way. The contractor can go to work on what he needs to do with filling the shell with concrete. Um, once we're ready for the next shell, we just bring the next shell in on its casting barge and the gantry crane is ready to go. Uh, it's very flexible and the material can be reused in the future for something else. So Barney, I can't thank you enough for you and your team as you continue to go out here to make sure that we are delivering the program and providing this national strategic resource for us. So from the National District, we're going to continue to come out here, provide you updates on how we're getting this project in the ground. So from the Nashville District, we're building strong because we're Army strong. Essay ons.